Scientists in my field are rarely asked about the philosophical or ethical basis of their work. Unfortunately, I think this is pretty common amongst the sciences. We keep our head down and just do the science and rarely stop and reflect on what are the big questions behind it. There are some interesting ethical questions that are starting to arise through some studies in cognitive science. One area I have in mind is uh, the growing interest in the cognitive science of morality and ethics and ethical decision making. A lot of scholars in the area are starting to gravitate toward the idea that uh, many of our ethical decisions are actually encouraged or guided or shaped by emotional states that maybe we're not even aware of or other non-conscious processes. Well, if that's right, does that change the way that we regard our decision-making processes? Does it, get, does it weaken our confidence in our ethics? Does it, uh, does it change the discussion in some way? Oftentimes when we talk about the relationship between science and religion, it's this, again, it's this dialogue model where uh, scientists find, uh, discover some sort of findings and uh, you know, religious communities figure out how to incorporate those findings into their belief system or to reject them or what are they going to do with it. On the other hand, that sort of the discussion goes the other way where religious communities raise ethical questions or moral questions or even provide philosophical foundations for different kinds of scientific endeavors and projects. Well, that's fine. Those are two very exciting sort of points of discussion if we want to use that model. But there's also the scientific study of religion, of religious beliefs, of religious behavior, of how, well, religions function within society. And I think that area of science is sometimes ignored, again, because the emphasis is so heavily on, um, well, the natural and physical sciences as opposed to the human sciences. And so I think scientists and science educators need to recognize religion's not going away. It seems to be a fundamental, intrinsic part of our, our very humanity. And we need to understand that if we're going to understand how it's going to continue to shape um, the way that people behave, their identification, their communities, and frankly, how it's going to form a, uh, a valuable part of our society going forward.